Hey everyone, it's Fun Around and my name is Jordan and this is a massive slate. We have just a couple of teams who will not be playing uh, for Tuesday. Um, I did find some picks for you guys. Uh, I, I tried looking through all the props that I have available, which is almost everything, um, but there are so many other props uh, to look at. There are so many other good plays, but I, I found just a few for you guys to look at. I'm sure you're going to be watching other channels, and they're going to be giving some other plays for you. And of course, you know you can do your own research and, and try to find uh, more plays. But uh, disclaimer, we are coming up on the end of the year. So different, you know, weird things may happen. Uh, could be some weird blowouts. Um, could be some teams uh, near the top uh, resting some of their guys and not playing them as much. Uh, we're, we're in the final week. It could get a little different. So um, you will see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There will be a link in the description that will give you a seven-day free trial for Outlier. And now this first pick, I'm going to go back to him from my last video because uh, it was pretty sweat-free. And it's uh, Micic of the Hornets over 6.5 assists at minus 113. It's going up against the Mavericks who give up the 13th most assists to the point guard position um, I know this uh, looks like it has high blowout potential you know Mavericks Hornets but the Hornets have actually been playing pretty tough uh, against teams at home and Mitch has gone over this line in six straight games and all of these games have been at home and he will be at home once again so hopefully the Hornets can put up just a little bit of a fight um, to stay in this one so he can continue to rack up assist um, he's averaging 15 potential assists a game over these last six games so we need him to get about half of these assists converted and he'll hit this line and if you guys could could you please like the video and if you haven't please subscribe to the channel if you have a little bit of extra time could you just leave a comment for the algorithm you can say anything and it gets a video out there for more people to see and thank you to the people who do comment uh, this next pick is going to be victor Wimbenyama over 11 and a half rebounds at minus 111 they're going up against the grizzlies and the grizzlies roster if you go look at their injury report their injury report looks bigger than a like 15 man roster like they barely have anyone left and uh this is just two really bad teams Basically, near the end of the year, it's going to be a bunch of young guys trying to you know, make an impression uh, before free agency or make an impression before next year to try to get some more minutes. So guys will still be playing hard. And Victor Womanyamba has been just grabbing a ton of rebounds as of lately. And the Grizzlies, they give up the 10th most rebounds to the center position and the 6th most rebounds overall. They do miss a lot of shots. And Victor Womanyamba has just been grabbing those missed shots. Grizzlies don't really have too many big men that they can really throw out there against Victor Womanyamba. So he's gone over this in 4 out of the last 5 games. He had 16 in their last meeting on March 22nd. And uh, he's averaging 21 rebound chances a game over the last five games. I know that last game was a double overtime game. He ended up with 18 rebounds. I checked in regulation. He had 13 rebounds before the double overtime. So he still went over this line. And then this third pick is going to be another guy on the other side of things in this game. It's going to be Scottie Pippen Jr. Over one and a half steals at minus 130. Spurs give up the third most steals to the point guard position. He's gone over this in six out of the last 10 games and the last time he played the Spurs he had four steals against them and with all of these injuries his minutes have gone up the past couple of games um, so you'll see the past couple of games he had four steals and two steals um, he's really good at stealing the ball he's going to have a lot of opportunities against this really bad Spurs team so I don't mind him going over one and a half steals if you guys do well with these picks and you feel like giving back I have a cash app and Venmo in the description you can donate back to the channel and thank you to the people who do donate and I also want to shout out my partners underdog fantasy sleeper parlay play and chalkboard use promo code find around 11 on any of these they'll match your first deposit up to $100 and sleeper will do it up to $500 there will be links in the description I'll take you straight there with the promo codes and thank you to anyone who uses those um, this next pick well it's not really a pick it's a it's Derek White, you can pretty much look at his assist. He's done really well last 10 games. Rebounds, he's done really well. Points, he's done really well. Um, 
uh, you could go with any of them or any of the combination of them. Uh, my only worry, and I'm not making, it's kind of a lean. My only worry is the Celtics have nothing to play for right now. Um, they're up huge with the one seed and they just have a few games left. I don't know if they're just going to throw their guys out there just for some conditioning, get some shots up and then, uh, you know, not really push them, you know, to the brink, even if it's a close game or anything like that. They don't, need to risk it uh, they just need to be healthy going into the playoffs so but you could go Derek White um, pretty much points rebounds or assist or any combination um, he's done well against the Bucks and as of late and then this next section is called first quarter props So first quarter props, um, I'm not going with Gary Harris this time. I do not like the volume of shooting that he has displayed over the past three games. He's been under two out of the three games. Um, and last game, he didn't even take a shot in the first quarter. And then three games ago, he took three shots the entire game. So I'm not liking what I'm seeing from him. And uh, once again, I have to keep explaining this with the first quarter props. You don't parlay all of these together. These I'm, I'm finding the high payout ones uh, where you can single bet them and they have good hit rates and you can make money over time if you single bet them um, my last video the two first quarter props did not hit and people came to me upset because they threw them in their parlays there are other first quarter props that you could put in your parlays that have much better odds and and still have good hit rates I was throwing out the ones that were plus money. Um, so if you throw those in a parlay, yeah, one might catch you and, and then you're going to be upset. So these are pretty close to plus money, if not plus money. Uh, this first one is Stephen Curry over one and a half first quarter assists at plus 100. He's gone over nine out of the last 10 games and three out of three versus the Lakers. This next one is Michael Porter Jr. over four and a half first quarter points at minus 115. He's been cashing and cashing and cashing over the past 20 games he's been doing really well with this one if you single bet this the past 20 games you are definitely in the green um he's gone over eight out of the last 10 games and uh i don't know why they keep this payout from minus 115 to plus 100 it kind of fluctuates and unlike gary harris he does take a lot of shots in that first quarter um the times that he has missed he's still taken five shots in that first quarter and then this next one um he's questionable but i still like him in the first quarter if he plays it's gonna be Christoph Porzingis over five and a half first quarter points at minus 110 he's gone over an eight at last 10 they say they may rest him um, but we'll see um, if he plays I, I do like him in the first quarter so if you'd like to discuss the other lines as they come out or the other lines just from this huge slate, I have a Discord link is in the description. You can hop on in there and discuss those lines and other sports. In a recap of the last video, um, I had Kelly Olenek under two and a half turnovers at plus 100. Um, I did mention he has gone under in 92% of games with quickly and Barrett playing um, I was looking at it again but then Emmanuel quickly got ruled out so staying away from his turnovers on the under he's going to be passing the ball more um, more likely to go over now and then Jabari Smith Jr. Uh, he was taking um, an average of eight and a half three-point shots uh, coming into the game and he did not take a single three-point shot I'm going into halftime and I was like, what, what is up with this? You just, you see guys with all these huge numbers and then you take them and then it's like, what are they doing? They're, they're doing the opposite of what they were doing. Um, but he still went over one and a half, three pointers made. He, he knocked two down, um, in his first two attempts. And then he took a, a third one and missed it, but that one hit. And then Michich over six and a half assists. He hit that one. Uh, it's pretty sweat free. So the props with the research behind it went three for three. And then I have my first quarter props. So the research go behind these are pretty much hit rates and payouts. And uh, there's DeAndre Ayton over 0 0.5 first quarter assist at plus 129. He missed that. And then uh, Gary Harris didn't take a shot in the first quarter. That was at minus 105. And I had people getting upset at me because I just mentioned first quarter props you don't have to play them if you don't like them it's like it's like they're zombies if you if they just see it on the screen they're like I have to play it um, and then they get really upset about it but then I had other people who are smart um, they didn't like first quarter props and they took the three props for the whole game and they went three for three and they hit um, 
you just have to understand this. The first quarter props are for single bets. I don't know how many times I have to reiterate that, um, but it, it, just, I, it just has to be said or people are going to keep parlaying them and one's going to keep uh, you know, ruining a parlay. Um, but the smart people are going to single bet them and they're going to be in the green. So I'm going to go watch the rest of this uh, college national championship game, get it edited and get this out to you. Um, God bless you all. It's fun around. My name is Jordan. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.